Hey, welcome back, CQR fans. We're at Valley Motorsports in Kelowna, BC, Canada, and yet a newcomer to the channel once again. Checking out a 2022 Husqvarna TX300. Nice looking bike. Gonna want to stick around. So this guy is going to be a single cylinder, two stroke engine, 293 cc displacement. It's got a 72 millimeter stroke, 72 millimeter bore, electric start, six speed transmission. And it's got a wet DDS multi-disc clutch and Brembo hydraulics. The weight without the fuel is 101 and a half kilograms. Your tank, approx your tank capacity is approximately eight and a half liters. Your front disc brake is a 260 millimeter. Your rear disc brake is a 220 millimeter. You got a five eighths by one quarter chain. You got a central double cradle type chromoly steel frame. Front suspension with a WP exact USD shock, 48 millimeter. Your ground clearance is 375 millimeters. Your rear suspension is another WP exact mono shock with linkage. Your seat height is 950 millimeters. Your steering head angle is 63.9 degrees. And you got 310 millimeters of suspension travel on the front and 300 millimeters of suspension travel on the rear. Once again, they're pretty cool looking bikes. Looks like it's well made. Husqvarna's had a reputation for quite some time. I like the color scheme, it's different. Looks like a very capable machine, just like the rest of them as well. And it's even got a composite subframe on there apparently, which is kind of neat. For the tires on this guy, you're gonna get some Dunlop Geomax AT81s. Decent looking tire on there, at least for starters anyway. Yeah, I'm really liking this bike. I think it's really well made. I think you'd be happy with it if you bought one. Come and check it out at Valley Motorsports at Kelowna, BC, Canada. Tell them that Mark from Canadian Quarters Review sent you. They'll take good care of you. So appreciate you guys clicking on the video. Appreciate all your support. Our numbers are growing great. It's so exciting to see this channel grow. And it's all because of you guys. So thank you again. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.